What's up, Leo? Welcome to Valkyrie Tarot for your Love and Soulmate reading for the first half of April 2020. This will run from about the 1st to the 15th, um, or, you know, whenever you stumble upon this and you feel like it resonates with you. Awesome, right? Uh, just so you know, I am actually extending a promotion of discounted readings until the 15th with everything that's going on. So uh, $5 for five minutes, $15 for 15 minutes, $30 for 30 minutes if you're interested contact me below. There's some information below on how to do that. I do have a handful of people already reaching out to me, so um, I will definitely, I, it is first come, first serve. We'll put it that way. So I will get to everybody, but uh, it just might not be within the next week if I'm getting a lot of people. All right, so we've got the Nine of Cups and the Judgment card both popping up. So a wish come true and forgiveness, being able to, <clears throat> excuse me, move forward with a karmic connection here. That is good. That is very good, Leo. All right. Greatest answers that we seek to find. Greatest answers that we seek to find. Leo, love and soulmate reading for April 2020. First through the 15th. Here we go. First card is you. Ace of Cups. What a card to start with. I love it. All right. Ace of Cups. This is a new romantic beginning. This is a wish come true. This is emotions. This is love. Love. The, the. Um, next card is your loved one not walking away all right so either you guys are together <coughs> currently or you might have been in an argument but you will be coming back together next energy between the two of you we have the ten of wands so something has been difficult there's been a burden i wouldn't you know doubt it based on everything else that's going on excuse me i need a drink my throat is dry um but the Ten of Wands, something to remember, is that the burden is almost over. So whatever weight you feel like you've been carrying, it is almost done. Challenge between the two of you is death. So this doesn't always mean physical death. Sometimes it means just the death or an ending of an old cycle to start something new. It's rebirth. It's growing. It's transformation. It's letting go of something, moving on, learning from it, and becoming a new person after it. And the blockage between the two of you is the Five of Cups. So somebody feels really disappointed. Someone feels really let down about something that's happened. Past situation from your point of view is the Chariot, Cancerian energy. This is Scorpio energy, by the way. Uh, moving forward triumphantly. Now, something to keep in mind. <coughs> wow. The Chariot here is a card of moving forward at any cost. Okay? It's not giving in to the you know, the issues that surround certain, um, excuse me, somebody's calling me. One moment. I apologize for that, Leo. Sorry, that was my accountant calling. <laughs> Made sure I get my tax return in, right? Whew. All right, let's pick up where we left off. So the chariot, like I was saying, uh, this is Cancerian energy. This is someone who moves forward at all costs. They want to be triumphant no matter what. Sometimes that means moving forward by themselves, okay? But it is movement, so that's good. Past situation from your loved one's point of view. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy again. So there might be a Scorpio or a water energy that you're interested in over here. King of Cups is someone who is very confident in how they feel, very able to express their feelings, very balanced in their emotions as well. This is someone who they are going to get down on one knee and propose to you. And if you're asking for someone who is ready to commit to you and will give everything to you without question, that's the King of Cups. Okay. Outcome from your point of view, we have the Emperor in reverse. All right, Aries energy. Uh, when we see the Emperor in reverse, number one, it could, uh, Emperor can be indicative of a twin flame type of situation, but Emperor in reverse is a sign of someone who does not have control over their environment. They might be a little stubborn, they might be a little self centered and selfish, but um, instead of being in control over other people, they can come off a little manipulative or quick to anger. So that's just something to think about. You know, Leo, you're a fire sign, so it would not be hard for you guys to step into that if you lost your temper, all right? Outcome from your loved one's point of view is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is kind of stepping back, um, feeling exhausted, like not knowing whether or not they want to put more effort into this situation. Outcome, overall, is the Three of Cups in reverse. So 
no, not being social, not meeting up. Uh, it also means possible third party influence. Somebody might be putting their energies or their attention towards something else. Now it doesn't always mean cheating, okay? It can also mean just focusing on other things like focusing on work, focusing on health, focusing on the family, focusing on money, instead of focusing on the relationship, okay? Energy under the deck though is the 10 of cups. This is ultimate happiness. This is the family card. This is, I wanna have a baby. I wanna have your baby type of card, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay. Yep. Didn't even ask a question, but we'll go with it. What is the Ace of Cups about? <laughs> it is the Ten of Cups. Wanting that Ten of Cups, wanting that ultimate happiness and fulfillment, and following your own intuition. Cancerian Pisces energy here. Okay. Um, you know, you know what you want, Leo, and you're not going to. Um, yeah, you're not going to back down. You're not going to back down from it. What is this Eight of Cups over here? Why is Leo's loved one in the Eight of Cups? Wow. All of them on the floor. Leo, you're not playing nice. The cards just are all over the place. All right. What is this Eight of Cups about over here? Seven of wands, standing up for what you believe in, no longer being defensive about a situation, your loved one rather, not you. It could be you. It, it, sometimes the energies flip, so take it as it resonates, or it could be the cross watch off. Yeah, um, your loved one's definitely going through it though. They're in some pain about something. Something happened. They're really, uh, they're really uncomfortable about something that happened, but they're no longer defensive about it. They didn't walk away though. I think they just turned their back on this to try and recuperate. Ten of Wands with the Empress over here. Yeah, so we have a divine counterpart here. So this is probably a twin flame type of setup. So whether there was something or wasn't something to cause discomfort, twin flame setups are, are pretty rough on the senses for sure. What's this Empress about? Empress is very nurturing. She's the mother of the deck. Uh, very compassionate. Wants to help everybody. Yep, Ace of Swords. So something was said here. Or this is the energy you guys are currently in. So there is going to be communication. A truth is going to be spoken. And it is going to be coming forward with love and compassion. What's this Death card about? Queen of Pentacles. Another representation of the Empress. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus type of energy, this is this is another mother of the Zodiac. So there might be pregnancy involved here. You know, we got the Ten of Cups twice. That is its children card as well. So there might be pregnancy involved for some of you, not all of you, obviously. Um, but there's stability here. This is a transformation. This is a acceptance to want to, you know, build a family together. Yep, choosing a path towards... Choosing a path, moving towards the direction that they want. That was the Six of Wands, but I didn't ask a question. I have not asked a question. That was the Seven of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups here. Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Nope. Five of Cups. We have the Star, which is healing energy, a wish come true, Aquarius, and the Ace of Cups again. So somebody is really upset, but they're healing from it and they want to make a new offer, okay? You've got, you got the Ace of Cups here twice. So this is a new beginning. It's the Chariot. Queen of Wands. Confident, knows what they want, has a intuition about them as well, just like that High Priestess. Very passionate, very passionate person. That's, you know... Aries energy as well. Got the Magician over here for the King of Cups. Your loved one is very all up in their feels or was all up in their feels, but they didn't feel like they had what it took for some reason. They might have felt rejected um, a little bit for whatever the reason was. This is a pretty good reading, but they might have they might have just been overwhelmed by the emotion between the two of you. Emperor. <coughs> yeah, there's going to be communication here about... Um, you know, what happened. 
Seven of Swords in the upright is kind of being manipulative and sly, but in the reverse, we see someone who's going to confess something or open up and be honest about a situation. So I think you're going to talk to someone about something. Yeah, and you're going to move forward. Chariot again. <clears throat> you're going to move forward. You, you're moving towards this person. But what are they going to do when you get there? They want to be patient and see how this turns out. They don't want to put energy into it yet because they need it. They need to kind of see how this plays out because they still feel like something's hidden here. There's something hidden in that moon energy. You got a lot of Cancerian energy popping up, a lot of water energy. You got Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, not Leo, sorry, you're Leo, um, Aries, Aries, Taurus. Libra, Aquarius, all over the place. Um, maybe one of those signs resonate for you. What's this Three of Cups about? All right, so not wanting a stable commitment in the past or breaking of a foundation of a family. Somebody made a choice. Somebody made a choice to come forward and be their true self. There was a ending of a toxic connection here or a um, addiction. Yeah, towards a twin flame union. Yeah, you got <laughs> twin flames all over the place. And that burden that we were talking about before, it's over. It's done with. It's done. Oh, bye bye. Nice. Thanks for coming to visit. See you later. Yeah, this is definitely a twin flame connection here. I think you, Leo, you, you are very confident in this situation. Uh, but you're maybe not as expressive about your emotions, okay? The other person was really expressive about their emotions and they kind of got up all, all in their head about it because they weren't sure how you felt. But there's union for the two of you. You guys are, you guys are energetically linked. <clears throat> Can I get three cards, please? Three cards. Spirit of the heart. Identity, vibration, soul essence. Spirit of the dwelling place, home, structure, foundation, and spirit of the black rose, revenge, despair, and tragic romance. All right. So <clears throat> getting a lot of positivity here, and obviously because it's a general reading, there will be some influences of negativity that could be other people's readings here. So overall energy... There's love, there's finding oneself, finding one's own identity in this relationship, in this situation. There is home structure. Most of us are stuck in home right now anyways, but that four of wands is also structure. It is the feeling of coming home to somebody, right? Obviously we have the spirit of the black rose over here too, revenge, despair, and tragic romance, but I'm not feeling that that's what's the intent of this. I feel like this is where it could go if you give in to your negative energies. If you give in to your anger, if you give in to frustration, if you give in to hurtful words and negativity and you don't come forward with compassion and empathy, you could go this way. But I'm not feeling that that's your path right now. I feel like the other person over here is just very anxious and they're just expecting the worst and you, Leo, as the strong, stable sign, need to come in and reassure them that everything's gonna be fine, All right? Can I get a message from Leo's loved one to them? Was fast. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. A lot of signs. All right, can I get three more cards here from the universe? Three more cards for advice from the Romance Angels. One of them flipped. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Get <laughs> Sorry, uh, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, you know, you might be split apart right now. You might not be physically in the same spot. You might be separated into your own dwelling places. But now is the best time to get to know each other. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And durr, like the cups all over the place weren't saying that. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So with everything that's going on, that emperor in reverse might just be you feeling like you don't have control over things going on in your life. It's very chaotic out there. The energy is all up and down, all over the place. But it's all about centering yourself, Leo. And this is a beautiful reading. If this is someone that you want to be with, I think that you just need to move forward and confess that with that Ace of Swords. 
and uh, you know you just got to you have to reassure them that everything is going to be okay and you should be golden all right leo hopefully this resonated with some of you if it did please like share and subscribe if it didn't that's totally cool i will see you in a couple weeks deuces